Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to study in detail about relational operators in C language. Let's get started. So you can clearly see this relational operator right over here is a binary type operator. So it comes under the binary category. So it also requires two different operands for proper operation. And relational operators perform evaluation operation and yields the result of either 0 or 1. So it evaluates the operation and yields the result of high or low or true or false or 1 or 0. So these are the two possibility results for this relational operator and associativity of these operators is from left to right. If two different relational operators are provided in a single statement or in a single expression, the associativity of those relational operators are from left to right. And these relational operators are of binary type, so it requires two operands for proper evaluation. So these are the different kinds of relational operators available in C language, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equal to and not equal to. And let us see in detail and the basic functionalities of all these six relational operators. So now I am just opening the Keel Microvision IDE. And in this Keel Microvision IDE for creating the project click on project new microvision project and go to the folder where you want to store your project let's take it to be i'm just creating a folder here and i'm just giving the name here to be pro you can give any name as per your wish and here in this first select device for target tab just type in the microcontroller name to be stm 32 re and you can choose this microcontroller right over here and then click on ok and in the next manage runtime environment tab just click on the plus near the cmsys and check this box right over here near the core and additionally you just need the startup code required for your microcontroller for that click on plus near the device and check this box near the startup this will provide you the necessary startup code required for ST Microelectronics Microcontroller STM32F446RE. In addition to that, just click on the plus near the compiler and plus near the IO under that compiler. And here you just want to check in STD out and STD in. So these two are necessary for using printf and scanf and also for viewing the output from your code and getting the input from the user in debug viewer window in Keel Microvision IDE that we will see later on. So for using that you just want to check these two checkboxes right over here near the STD IN and STD OUT and in this drop down select ITM here also the same and click on OK. And that's it. The project has been successfully created and now we just want to create our own main.c file required for our project. Click on plus right over here the target and right click on the source group folder and click on add new item to group source group 1. Here in this tab select the c file that is .c file which we are going to create and give a name for your .c file. Obviously the main .c file is the one which we are going to create. So I am just providing the name to be main and then click on add. Now this is the main .c file. I am just including the standard header as include of stdio.h in my program. 
and additionally we just want the main function which is the foremost function which will be executed in every C program. So the usual thing int of main I am just creating and since the return type of the main here is int I am just returning as 0 at the end of main function. So now we can start building our program right over here inside the main function. So now what I am going to do is I am just going to declare three different variables a is equal to 7 b is equal to 8 and c is equal to 0. And now as the first step what I am going to do is I am just going to write down the expression a greater than b and I am going to print that that is the value of c I am going to print so this is greater than is equal to percentage t comma c and as the next step I am just going to write down a greater than or equal to b backslash n at the end and here I am just going to equal to so in this expression it will be checking whether the variable a value is greater than variable b if it is so or if the variable value a is greater than the variable value b it will yield the result 1 or it will yield the result 0. So if the a is greater than b the value of c will be 1 if it is not it will be having the value 0 that's it and here also the same case if the variable value a is greater than or equal to the value available in the variable b this expression will yield the result 1 so c will be having the value 1 and if it is not it will be having the value 0 and next i am just going to check whether a less than b lesser than and lesser than or equal to so this expression will check whether a value is less than b if it is so it will yield the result 1 or it will yield the result 0 and this also works as the same it will check for whether the a is less than or equal to the value available in b if it is so it will yield the result 1 or it will yield the result 0 and as the last two expressions I am just going to write down if c is equal to a equal to b and here I am just going to check or print equal to and as the last expression I am just going to write down a not equal to b not equal to so you can see here this expression c is equal to a equal to equal to b will check whether a value is equal to b if it is equal this will provide us the value 1 or it will provide us the value 0. So c will be 1 if a is equal to b and it will be having the value 0 if a is not equal to b. So in our case a is not equal to b so we will get the value 0 to c and last and final statement is c is equal to a not equal to b. So if a value is not equal to b this expression will provide us the value 1 or it will provide us the value 0. In our case 
a is 7 b is 8 so it will be providing us the value 1 right over here and if you see here a less than or equal to b a is having the value 7 b is having the value 8 so it is definitely less than b so this will be also having the value 1 this will be having the value 1 this will be having the value 0 this will be having the value 1 and here also you can see a is definitely less than b because a is 7 b is 8 so this will be also providing us the value 1 and here a is greater than or equal to b definitely a is having the value 7 and b is having the value 8 so it is not greater than or equal to b so this will be having the value 0 and here also it is not greater than b so it will be also having the value 0 and let us check whether this program is working fine so you can see the program has compiled with zero errors and zero warnings i'm just moving into the debug session of keen microvision id by clicking on this start or stop debug session icon right over here now i'm just running the program you can see as per our expectation greater than is having the value zero greater than or equal to is also having the value zero less than is having the value one less than or equal to is having the value one equal to is having the value zero or not equal to is having the value one so the relational operators are functioning as per our expectation in embedded c so most often these kinds of relational operators are used in loop conditions as well as in conditional statements in C language. I hope you learnt the application of relational operators and how they are yielding the result of evaluation of expressions in the program. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.